like Stacy mentioned, I am a financial planner, but I did not grow up thinking about being a financial planner. I actually had no idea that you can start a career as a financial planner. And it wasn't until I uh, you know, went to school. I'm a first generation college graduate of my family. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and I stumbled upon a course called Personal Finance 101 or, or something like that. And I started learning about personal finances, Social Security, uh, disability insurance, credit scores, credit reports, why that's important, and all of this stuff. And I just started learning. And what you'll learn as a common theme with millennials is that when we learn something, we want to share and share with our peers because we want to see everyone doing well. And so I became known as um, as the uh, financial planner, you know, as a student and like the personal finance guru. And so I would go home to my grandmother who raised me and just tell her this information. And at this time, she was becoming very ill and started to go into dialysis. And as I'm learning this information, I'm like, well, Nana, it's this thing called a 401k and social security. And from my understanding, you're supposed to be retiring right now. Like, like why, why you can't retire? And so we had a conversation. I remember this like it was yesterday. She sat me down. She said, well, baby, the things you're telling me now, I didn't know back then. So I don't have enough money to retire. And it was at that moment right then and there that I said, my generation is not going to be a generation that does not have the financial literacy or the personal finance to be able to do what they want to do. And um, you know, as I started my career and wanted to share more information about personal finance, I kept hitting roadblocks. So talking about resilience and black women, I kept hit, hitting road, roadblocks. And so what I did was after working for a couple of firms, great firms, I decided to launch my own firm, Your Greatest Contribution, because I wanted to make sure that receiving advice from a certified financial planner was accessible to everyone. And so, and you don't have to have a million dollars. That's some of the mis, you know, perceptions that you have to work with a financial planner that you have to, you know, have all of this money to work with a financial planner and you don't. And so how this, going back to your question and how this, you know, just relates to, you know, feminism or women empowerment is that I hope that I am an example to the young women sitting out there in the audience that you can you know, go to college, you can be the first generation, you are going to enter into a social economic status that you cannot fathom, and you're gonna have questions. And my advice to you is ask the questions, and it's okay, and ask for advice, because there are people that want to help.